Yo, what's up guys, what's going on? Frankie D, the coach here. I wanna talk about or give a tip to you weekend overeaters just like me. Before I go into that, I've got a free report. It's called Seven Steps to Shredded. If you want a step-by-step -step instruction on how you can get shredded, head down below, click the first link in the description. Let's talk weekend overeating and what happens or why. Maybe we won't get so much into why, but I just know on the weekend, I tend to eat a little bit more. I like to have um, my Sundays are like my cheat evening. It's a long week, long week of work and focus, intense focus, right? Get to the weekend and sometimes you just want to let loose. And I do notice with a lot of my clients, the weekend is the time. It's the the saying, oh, it's the weekends that kill me. You know, I've been hearing that for years, right? So it's just natural that most people with more time in your schedule, you're not in a regular routine that you might normally be during your work week will probably eat more on the weekends, just kind of how it goes, right? Just more free time and you're gonna fill it and sometimes you fill it with food and that just happens. And I'm not saying what I do, having a cheat night or a couple cheat meals on Sunday evening is the best way to go about doing stuff, but it's something I do and then something I'm looking at and trying to adjust. But, you know, just to give you guys an idea, uh, even the, the trainers struggle with, with food and overeating and trying to keep things tight and it happens. So, um, so what do you do? You know, how do you how do you handle that? Well, here's what you got to understand. When it comes to training, and good training has somewhat of an ebb and flow to it, and you might hear that like you're supposed to work out, right? And then at some point, you, you rest and you take a rest day. Now, with the rest day, a lot of people take the rest day on the weekend, and if you schedule your rest day during the weekend at the same time when you're having more calories may not be the best way to do things. So my advice to you is to schedule your rest day during the middle of the week when you're busier, you're more focused on job, kids, school, work, whatever it is, keeps you busy and you don't eat as much. Take a rest day in the middle of the week and not at the end of the week. And, and here's more specifically why you would do this. You want to schedule your hardest training days on the days that you have the most calories. So if that happens to be on the weekend, on a Saturday and Sunday, you want to schedule your most intense training sessions Saturday, Sunday, and even the couple days after. So if I have a big cheat night on Sunday night, Monday is a big training day, and Tuesday, because what happens is you take all those calories and more specifically all those carbohydrates that you overeat and you store them and you store them in your muscles, right? So muscle glycogen is the term. And you have excess muscle glycogen when you have extra calories and extra carbohydrates. So it makes a whole lot of sense after you do that to have your most, most intense training days. So your resistance training, that's the most intense stuff, not the wacky, um, you know, mix match stuff that a lot of people do. Your heavier resistance training, so heavy weights, somewhere between you know, five to 10 to 15 reps where it actually challenges you and you have to stop afterwards and it's challenging. You do your resistance training and even your HIT training. So your high intensity interval training so that your cardio that's done really fast and really aggressive. So it's not really slow cardio, it's fast, intense cardio that makes you bow out after a little bit. You do that stuff, schedule that stuff around your overeating days or your higher calorie days and then adjust your rest day. So take your rest day out of the weekend where it might normally be. Put your rest day in the middle of the week. You will utilize calories better when you schedule your resistance training and your HIIT training on the days and directly after the days when you eat more calories. Hope that makes sense. Take this tip and run with it. If you enjoyed this video, share it with your friends. If they're overeaters, especially on the weekends, uh, like, leave a comment. If you want seven steps to shred it, grab it here. I'm Frank Daniels. Catch up with you guys soon.